guys welcome back to another first impression video this is the video series where I take a look at an entire sewing pattern collection today we're gonna to be looking at the McCall's spring collection and not simplicity and we are going to be looking at each and every one of the new patterns that they just released and just kind of chatting about you know my just initial thoughts on the design we'll look for little fit issues fit things to kind of look out for when you go to make it yourself we'll talk about fabric choice um both the ones they recommend and ones that i think would also be appropriate um and yeah just have a great time chatting about all the patterns so if this is your first one buckle in um, these are a lot of fun. So first up we have the misses and women's dresses. What does that mean size wise? 10 to 18 and then 20 to 28 women's evening gown dresses for misses and women's sizes, 10 to 28 dresses have curved empire and princess seams, baby hem straps or racer back style and invisible zipper closure. View C is floor length with a train. Okay, probably in time for prom, maybe I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, what a beautiful little design. The black one's a little bit hard to see, but you can look at view C and see that there are, oh, this is B. Oh, that's the back of B. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, you have this curved empire seam. You have princess seams. And then I'm curious to know if this is cut on the bias. If it's not, I would because I think it will be that much more flattering. Um, and then view A is more of like, they said racer back, but it kind of gives me halter, very closed up and covered up in the front. And then B has this pretty crisscross in the back. I love how it's also making kind of like a sweetheart design in the back, that's really nice. Oh, there are seams, side seam, uh, what were they called? side back seams I guess um in the skirt so that might be a little bit harder to do on the bias am I right because here they are again so they're probably getting around for they're cheating the bias a little bit I think um bias just like you know really does wonders for any curves any woman has as little as they are or as big as they are they look great um so they're probably cheating that by kind of creating some shape um, with these seams here, I would think. Um, that does mean, uh, it does mean what? That it's gonna be a little bit more showy of lumps and bumps, that um, it might be a little bit more uncomfortable to wear out of a silky slinky fabric. So keep that in mind. But the design is really pretty. And then I think this has a thicker strap. Oh, that's even more dramatic than I thought. Wow. I wonder if that's hard to sew. I've never sewn anything like that. It can't be that bad. Maybe where the zipper comes in might be a little bit tricky, but yeah, you can really get an idea of the drape in the back. Okay, let's see this. So. Fabrics, they're going with charmeuse, crepe back satin, and crepe. So they really are leaning into the drapey fabrics. I will say crepe back satin is a little bit uh, heavier weight, a little bit just thicker in general. Um, so if you're concerned about like being able to see your belly button or something like that, um, use a thicker, a thicker slinky fabric <laughs> um and then there's lining I think just the bodice is probably no I stand corrected the whole freaking thing is lined dang so you would think that that would help with the slinkiness too where it would you know add a, like a little bit of a smoothing element so maybe it won't be that bad then maybe it won't be that bad um Okay, so notions, an invisible zipper, and a hook and eye. That's it. Then that the hook and eye is just for A, which is the racer back option. Oh yeah, because you zip it up and then hook it in the back. Okay. Um, let's see, we also have finished measurements. So two and a half. So the the measurements are different for A and then B and C. So A has two and a half inches of ease. 
B and C have half an inch of ease. That makes perfect sense. Very good. And then the waist has two inches for all three and the hip has five inches for all three. Yeah, that all makes perfect sense. That all makes perfect sense. So yeah, what a little stunner to start out with here. Oh, A also has this full on cutout. That's right, because it said that only the B and C needed the zipper. This doesn't have a zipper at all. So if you're like afraid of zippers for whatever reason, or just don't like zippers, they're not comfortable, whatever it is, um, you can get this view and there's not a zipper. There's a little hook right there. Interesting. Very nice. I don't know. Look at these line drawings. It doesn't have to be like a fancy, fancy dress. It could be something a little more casual, especially if you made it out of a print, like a printed silky type of fabric. Maybe skip the lining, maybe only line the bodice. You know, try and try and think about this one outside of the constraints of evening gown. Okay, now we have women's tops and skirts. This is 20 to 28 and then 30 to 38. Crop top has short or long puff sleeves and high neckline with elastic at sleeves, waist, and neck. View B includes a sash. Pull on asymmetric tiered skirt comes in two lengths. Okay, so I kind of don't like these together. Uh, it just feels like very covered up here. There's like no neck, no decolletel, no arm really. And then the skirt is also long, like to the floor long. So it just feels like she's just not getting anything helping out with her shape, especially because the top is so balloon-like and then so is the skirt. Um, the waist definition is nice, but, you know, it's not, I don't know, it's not doing much for her, I don't think. Um, but I would like these as separates. So if you put this with like a slimmer skirt or, you know, jeans or something a little bit more close fitting and then paired the skirt with like a, I don't know, like a bodysuit or some kind of like close fitting top, that would be better for me, in my opinion. So this is A without the sash. B has the sash. I'm also assuming this is sewn on. If not, how in the world is that supposed to stay? It wouldn't stay. Don't be fooled. Um, and then C's skirt is shorter, right? Because it only has this one tier. And this is the same skirt, but because she's holding it up like that, you really cannot see the cool part about this asymmetry here. Right? She, that, they're losing that in the photo. To me, it just looks like any old regular ruffle skirt that we've seen a thousand times. But it's not. They're only going to give us that photo, I bet. There's the back. Yeah, I don't see any. There's just a lot of gathering. You're going to, you're, oh boy, I keep doing that. I did that in the last video. I'll do better. I'm sorry. Um, Lots and lots of gathering. I think this is done by elastic elastic this one here and then all of these are gathered so and so is this sleeve here so get comfortable with gathering yeah you can kind of see the asymmetry here it's not nearly as dramatic as that drawing makes it seem right I wanted it to be like this but it's a little bit more subtle yeah oh this is separate <laughs> that's silly don't make this It'll never stay on or, or sew it on one of the two, <laughs> one of the two. Don't leave it separate. Okay. Shally cotton blends, gauze and lightweight linen. Yeah. All of those would work for sure. Um, you can expand this a little bit into other light to midweight drapey to, uh, lightly structured I want to say like gauze would be like a lightly structured fabric um you can extend that into some of those types of fabrics um things they didn't include that would be great would be like seersucker um eyelet if you lined it um swiss dot uh, things like that all right so elastic lots of elastic 
more and more elastic. Okay, lots of elastic. And then sizing, we went through that. Do we get it? Yes, we get finished bust. It's going to be lots of very roomy in the bust. Um, that's almost 20 inches of ease in the bust. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, I really think you only need like 10. It doesn't need to be that. 20 is a lot. Um, and then the hip for the skirt is four inches of ease. 20 is, 20 is too much, guys. It's too much. So size down a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Cut that in half if you can. I would. Um, then you would have just a little bit more. Because if you're fuller chested, but your waist is small, and you make something that's 20 inches of ease in the bust, it, it's just going to look like a giant like bubble on your body. So maybe that's what happened with her too. It's just not not quite slim enough. You know, they didn't need to lean into the puffiness of it all that much. Okay, now we have, did we just like go back in time? Oh yeah, it's a vintage pattern. We don't normally see them so up, like so high up on the list. But yes, it is a 1980s online jacket. With seaming, has extended shoulder, shoulder pads, notch collar, long sleeves, where the wrong side of the fabric will show when sleeves are rolled up, upper patch pocket, front welt pockets, top stitching, and machine stitched hem. Jacket A has a drawstring in the back. Oh, man, I don't know if we're, like, ready for full-on 80s wide shoulders, narrow hips. Like, let's make our bodies into triangles. Let's look like linebackers. Um, I mean, of course, this photo does it justice. They're really making it do the most. Um... But yeah, this is a princess seam, but this sleeve is dolman. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. Like I said, it looks fine there. I do appreciate the little drawstring in the back to give a little bit of shape, but this is wild. This triangle is just like, whoa. Oh, that's all we're going to get picture wise. Oh my gosh. Okay. Medium weight fabric, such as baby cord which is corduroy cotton cotton blends damask gabardine flannel lightweight denim lightweight wool and wool blends linen polyester double knits poplin seersucker and wool double knits not suitable for diagonals large checks uneven stripes and uneven plaids medium weight fabrics yeah wow so what what is a half inch thick covered shoulder pads and then one one inch button. Wow. So look at these measurements, the, the ease. So the bust has 15 inches of ease roughly. The waist has 22 inches of ease. <laughs> and then the hip, are they going to give us the hip? They don't give us the hip. They give us the lower edge, which is close to the hip. And that has... 13 inches of ease. What? So you can just tell like, boom, 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 it gets smaller as you go down, but it still has a ton of ease. I don't know that they're going to do very well with this one. I'm all for the throwbacks, but the throwbacks have to feel modern and they're, nothing about this feels modern or even could, I can't even imagine it being modern. Like those jackets like that, that look like that, you can just get them at Goodwill right now because everybody from the 80s is giving that stuff away. Okay, so we're getting into the, oh, Melissa Watson has her own, her own name now. It's not um, Palmer Plush. Palmer Plush is her mother and Melissa has been working with or for her mother for as long as I've been sewing um, to do the Palmer Plush method patterns which is like the, their method is tissue fitting. So now it's Melissa Watson for Palmer plush. Interesting. I wonder, her mom's Patty Palmer. I wonder if Patty's retired. I, I wonder what happened. It might not even be anything dramatic. Um, 
It's just, it's never been labeled like this before. So that's good for her. Jacket has large front pockets with flaps, front button closure, back yoke, two long, wait, and long two-piece sleeves with buttons. Make it an outfit with the matching pants on the next pattern. Okay. Size-wise, 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. And it's going to say in here, learn to fit with the Palmer Plus tissue fitting method. Um, if you've never tried it, it is interesting, a little bit hard to do on yourself. Um, but they're basically the way it works is their pattern tissue has a lot of extra lines on it. So if you needed to do a full bust adjustment, there would be lines on there already to help you make that adjustment on the pattern. You're supposed to pin up your seam allowances, put it on your body, and then determine based on how the paper is wrinkling or whatever or pulling um, how to adjust. And then the lines on the pattern help you achieve that. So this just feels like a very kind of standard denim jacket type of design, but no collar. Um, two front patch pockets, lots of top stitching. This might be like a waxed cotton type of thing, which is giving it a little bit more rugged vibes, but it could be more polished. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that the shoulder is so long. Now, my assumption, and we all know about assumptions, but my assumption was that when the Palmer Plush team released a pattern, they made the sample garment for their sample model. They weren't just sending it over to McCall's and having them use whatever sample models they, they, or fit models, whatever it is that they had coming in that day. My assumption was that they used their own. So if that's the case, this is a little bit long on her. So I'm just a little bit surprised to see that. Just, I mean, just barely, like just barely, barely. I'm being really, really picky because they are known for fit, right? Um, and then we're going to see more of these pants in the next pattern. So we'll wait for thoughts on that. But yeah, it's a cute, it's a cute design. It's not really for me, but it would be really fun to sew. I, I gotta say, I did make a denim jacket. I think it was a seamwork pattern. Um, and I do love it and I wear it a lot. So I don't know about a collarless one though. I got it. I'm trying to imagine it without the matching pants. Maybe that would be and maybe not buttoned up either. I don't know. Am I just like ruining the whole vibe? Because this is definitely a look, right? This is definitely somebody's entire being is based on this kind of, I don't know, like rocker-ish kind of look I'm getting. Grungy maybe even. But yeah, there's the back. Yeah, it fits, it fits really, really well everywhere. Um, like I said, just, I mean, even this already looks a little bit better than the other one. I think they did they tuck it in? Maybe not. See how it's just a little bit long? It's like falling off her shoulder a little bit. This is a sleeve head that's meant to be up on her shoulder a little bit. More like this one. But again, just being super, super picky. Okay, so. Cotton blends, denim, linen, and twill. Lining fabric. Yeah, all of your mid to heavy weight, really structured fabrics. Five buttons for the sleeves. I mean, it's for the, for the center front and then eight buttons for the sleeves. Uh, fit wise, the bust supposedly has eight inches of ease. The waist has 11. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. Um, 11 would be like five. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe because it is like a boxy look. See how it's so straight up and down kind of. I mean, there's a little bit of a curve, but not much. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. Let me look at it again. Yeah, I think what's happening is the structure of the jacket is just making it look more fitted than it is. But we don't know what's going on with, like, we don't really know what her body looks like under here. She could just be super skinny under here, and we we don't know. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I probably would size down one, personally. Um, 
just because 8 and 11 do, does feel like a lot. For me, I, I, and I like things to fit a little bit better, especially in my upper torso because that is the smallest part of my body. So try and show that off. Now, it's an interesting choice for them to not put the pants and the jacket in one pattern, especially when they're calling it a matching set. Um, it feels a little maybe greedy, <laughs> some would say. Others would say, you know what? No, they're obviously allowed to do whatever they want um, in terms of how they want to, you know, package up and sell their patterns. And they don't want any options. They don't want extra views. They want to give you one thing that you can fit really well and you don't have to worry about anything else. I get that. That that makes sense too. Um, but some people might be a little bit like miffed about the fact that you have to buy them separately in order to get the matching set. I see both sides. Um, okay. Pants have fly front zipper, back yoke pockets, and belt loops. Sizing should be the same. Yes, it is. Um, okay. So kind of a low slung waist. It is a curved waistband. And it almost feels like intentionally it starts at the waist and scoops down. Right? Then we've got like a baggier type of look here. Baggy, but still fits well. That's important. Like it's intentionally baggy, I think. And then like a little bit of a tapered leg. And then a little, I guess, one inch hem allowance there. But all your traditional jean details. There's the illustration of the back. Okay, here's the actual back. So we have some really cute pocket detail. Love that. Kind of Western, maybe. But this is straight across, so that's good. That fits well. Maybe a little bit too much room here, too much length here. But she is also popping this leg, so it's hard to tell. Crotch curve looks good. There's also probably a little bit too much um, fabric in the inseam, but not by much. Not by much at all. We've seen a lot worse in terms of fit on pants for sure, but they're known for fit, so that's why I'm going to point those things out. Okay, same fabrics we talked about before. Let's let's look at. I will note that the illustration makes the line makes the waist band look straight across, but you could see on hers it was definitely falling. So I don't know what to make of that. It's conflicting on what the intention is. Um, okay, so hip wise, we have seven inches of ease roughly. And hip, we have two and a quarter. Um, yeah, two and a quarter feels fair. Seven in the hip for how baggy this is. I don't know. I'm not seeing seven there. I'm seeing like four maybe. So it's interesting. I wonder if they give you so much ease on purpose because they're anticipating you wanting to tweak the fit. We're just, we don't really see ease numbers that are so far off like this as much anymore as we used to. We, the, every pattern before used to be like, what, what is happening? Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if they're just giving you a little bit of extra room to to make your own adjustments. Like the intention is not for you to be able to make it right out of the right out of the pattern envelope that you know, it's going to be too big for this reason or that reason because it's easier to adjust or you know, I don't know, something like that maybe. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Um, but yeah, if you're going to make that and not try and futz around with fit a lot, then for sure size down. I would Okay, now we have, oh, this is the same model as the, as the, this is the same girl that is in the Melissa Watson patterns. So that means that they aren't using, that's the same girl, right? Yeah. They are not using their own fit model anymore. So that makes sense as to why the shoulder seam was a little bit long and like the inseam was a little bit long those kinds of issues that we saw. Okay. So 
This is Mrs. Dresses, 6 to 14, 16 to 24, easy to sew, knit bodice dresses with contrast skirts. We are not doing this again. Ankle length dresses have neckline variations, elastic at waist, and side pockets. Guys, this is so 2010s coded. It's not even funny. So it's a knit bodice and a woven skirt. Who remembers when we were doing that? Like that was so popular when I first started sewing. And I guess, I guess it makes sense. I, I don't know. I always thought it was weird. Then it didn't feel super comfortable. Then like, why not just make the whole thing out of a knit? You know, like why, why do we have to mix it up? Because now you're having to shop for two different things that match. That feels difficult to do these days. Um, I would say that if it's a knit top and like a charmeuse skirt or chalet skirt that like, like this is a print and then a solid on top, that feels more doable. But is that cute and modern or does that make you look like? you're stuck in the 2010s. Um, the re it is beautiful, the maxi skirt especially, but I just wish it were all woven or all knit. Right? It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do right. <laughs> it looks funny. Um, yeah, it's not for me. The whole, the whole thing about it is not for me. Like, this isn't even sitting at her natural waist. She has zero shape, even though she's in a, what's supposed to be fit to fitted-ish bodice, and then, like, a straight slash A-line skirt or gathered skirt. She has no shape, no body. It's just, it's like she's the hanger, you know? Like, her shoulders are just the hanger, and it's just hanging there. It's just like, bleh. Yeah. All right. So, bodices and stretch knit only, and then contrast skirt and cotton blends, poplin, and sateen. Yikes. Yikes. Now, you could make the skirt out of the same knit. Um... You, it wouldn't have to be as wide through the hip because the knit will stretch around your body there, but you could. My suggestion, though, would be just to find another pattern. This this one's not it. I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so elastic and elastic and kind of a lot elastic. So I'm wondering, is that is the waistband done? It's done with elastic, obviously, because you can't gather it. That's even worse. That just <laughs> that feels really uncomfortable. Okay. Um, then we have one and a half. I'm sorry. One inch of ease in the bust. This is where they start to lose the shape and body. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. My phone is ringing. That's not your phone. That's my phone. I'm so sorry. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, this is where they start to lose the shape in the waist. The bust fits well. The waist with what is that? Six and a half inches of ease. That's where they go wrong. This should be way more fitted, like two inches of ease. And then the dress, the skirt is very voluminous, so it almost doesn't even really matter. Okay, next up we have... So far, I'm just like unimpressed. Um, okay, so eight to 16 and 18 to 26 on this Mrs. Shirt Dress. Drop shoulder dresses has double yoke, top stitching, length and sleeve variations, and optional sash. So a take on a kimono type deal with these really wide sleeves, really wide and long. Um, not my favorite look. Um, you also have this, it's a collar, but it's basically just like a flap that goes around your neck. There's no collar stand. And it also, to me, starts really high up. V-neck, button front. I don't think there's any shape to this if you don't add the sash. Really deep hem, which I do like. Really deep hem here, too. The other versions, this one with no collar flap and no sleeve, feels much 
more attractive to me, much more like something I would do. Even this one with the short sleeve is better. Um, oh, there is elastic in here. Never mind. So there is a waist seam of sorts um, with an elastic waist. And then you can put the sash over it if you want. Yeah. Um, I think they made the wrong sample out of the wrong fabric. If they would have made this out of the sleeveless version, I think we'd all be raving. If they made this sleeved version out of something a little drapier, this just is like box and box and box and so many boxes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that really doesn't help much either, does it? You do get a yoke. Like, it is a, it is a shirt dress, for sure. Um, yeah, I think it's just the sleeve that's really throwing me. The rest of it's not that bad. <laughs> Cotton blends, gauze, lawn, lightweight linen. Yeah, I just, I get that they're leaning into the shirt dress. But that might be doing them a disservice. Like, I don't know. I just see this little sleeveless one. Where is it? As, like, a little, I don't know, ditzy floral, like, lightweight number. I don't see it out of stable fabric at all. This one, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering if it's just fabric choice. If they just missed the mark on making all of the, making the sample and the suggestions. Um, stable fabrics lightweight but stable i almost wonder if they would have done like a like a rayon rayon cotton blend rayon linen blend something like that if that would have been a little bit better all right so twill tape eight inches of twill tape so that must be for the neckline or the shoulders maybe eight buttons one package of bias tape and then 10 buttons, depending on the view that you're making. And then again, tons of ease. So five and a half in the bust, two in the waist. Okay, that's better. And then the hip is negligible. So five in the bust with this kind of design does make a little bit of sense. I think that if you're in between sizes, size down, if you're on the mark on a size, just make that size and I think it would it will be fine. Yeah, there is a lot of room through here, but it's supposed to be like that, I think. And if the fabric are drapier, then it doesn't stand away from your body so much. Okay, so here's the Mrs. version of that little set. Um, oh, gosh. They made the same view. I don't know. I don't I don't really love it that much more on her either. So it's not a body shape type of thing. Look at, I mean, this is like fully a lantern on top of her body. Like she just stepped into like one of those Japanese lampshades. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. 20 inches of ease is wild. So, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with the size of the model or anything else. It's just too much ease. Too much ease. The skirt in a print, because the last one was a was the white solid, remember? Um, you kind of lose this even more. I mean, it wasn't dramatic to begin with, and then it's fully lost in a print. So, if it were me, and I really insisted on making this set... I would just ditch this, like all this work for it not to even be able to be seen. I would just do your regular skirt with a ruffle on the bottom. This is a nice idea, but it's just getting lost. It's right here for what it's worth, but you can't see it. And then this one also has this one going too, which I guess the white one had too, but. Yeah, look at that. No, and look at her little belt falling off. The belt is silly. That's just silly. Okay. All right. Well, that settles that then. Um, now we have this little, and they're calling it a corset top. I think it's a 
oh, 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 the name of it is on the tip of my tongue. That the it's almost like a vest and a corset had a baby. Uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, figure flattering and fitted corset style crop tops have front button closures, square neckline, and top stitching details. VB has faux pockets. Waistcoat? Waistcoat. That's what it is, right? Waistcoat. I think that's what it is. That's what I was thinking of anyway. So if that's not what this is, then I stand corrected, but that's the word I was trying to remember. Okay, so we have square neckline, which I really like. Um, your corset seaming. So there's one seam here, one here, and your side seam. This one has the little V's, which I don't mind the V's. This one has the scoop in the front with a flat pocket. It's a little bit too long through here. Can you see how it's gaping from her body? And then also possibly a little bit too small through here. Too tight. Which is an interesting juxtaposition of things. And then the crop top just cropped. Okay. I like the idea of this outfit. It is cute. I would wear it. Okay, here's the back. Yeah, doesn't it feel like, because see how this is also pulling away from her body? And this is probably too. They probably like, I don't know, removed some shadows or something, but I think this is pulling away from her body. So yeah, I think it's it doesn't fit her very well. <laughs> um, hard to say if that's a universal thing or if she just has really wide shoulders and back. But that's kind of what it feels like, a wide shoulder and back situation. Um, oh boy, I did it again. I was doing so good, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think it looks good. So my best advice, and you guys are going to hate this, my advice for this one is to make a muslin. You don't need that much fabric. You only need to make the crop top version out of your muslin. Um, just to see what's, the arm size is not, it, something's wrong here, I think. I think it's her, but I also think, not her, that's not the right, verb. that's not the right framing. You guys know what I mean. Um, it's her body pl on, plus the pattern on her body type. Um, plus, I also think the arm side is drafted really, really funny. Um, almost too curved in the back and then maybe too long. I don't know. There's a, there, the arm size, not giving. Yeah, that doesn't seem right to me. Okay, so notions wise, okay, just as I thought, um, there is no boning. So they're calling it a corset, but it's really a vest with corset seams. Corset would have boning. Okay, chambray, denim, linen, and twill lining fabrics wasn't expecting to see that so I guess it there's a facing so that's why um all of that is done on a facing so that's that's how you finish the neckline and the arm size that's nice um three or five buttons depending on the length and golly what a little um stash buster five eighths to three quarters of a yard of fabric and that's it well, that's certainly intriguing. In that case, maybe, oh no, it's 45. Interfacing one and a half yards. So is the whole thing also interfaced? I don't know. A lot of that seems unnecessary. I don't think it needs to be lined, especially if you're not putting the boning in. Uh, I think you could just like do it like a, gen a denim jacket with faux flat belt seams. Yeah, but still. Oh, that's for the little crop top A. When you get to B and C, the yardage goes to a whopping one and three quarters. One and, no, one and an eighth. So one yard wonder is this thing. I love that. I love that. I have some single yards laying around. That's worth it in and of itself just to use up the stash. All right, and then finished measurements, we have five inches in the bust. No, we don't. There's no way. And then 
three inches in the waist, that makes more sense. Five inches in the bust, mm -mm. there's no way. That's either inaccurate or that's either wrong or they made adjustments to this one that we just can't see, like pulling it tighter in the back. But that's not five inches of ease in the bust. There's no way. A lot of fit issues on this one. I haven't I haven't had to call out so many fitting and ease issues in a long time. I really felt like they were getting it together. Okay, men's knit top and shorts. All right, three button placket and self collar polo design tops have a classic look and feel. Shorts with elastic waistband, piping trim, contrast options. The material is stretchy to the, ensure that you can play in comfort. Wow. Fans of tennis, pickleball, and golf <laughs> should like this design. Okay, that's what they're doing. They're leaning into pickleball. It's the number one fastest growing sport, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so they say, why can't you make your own clothes to wear to, out to the pickleball court? I, I agree. I agree fully. Um, so we have a couple of options. We have A that has this little trimming detail right along here. Um, and then everything else is the same. We have B that has contrast here, contrast on the top of the shoulder and contrast down here. And then we have the short, two options, either the simpler, just single piping detail or with the contrast panel. Yes, yes, yes. I'm pretty sure they just went downstairs of their offices and just found the next guy walking down the street and were like, yo, want to come take some pictures? <laughs> he was like, sure. Oh, gosh. He's just giving like regular guy on the street. Normally their models are so like model -y. <laughs> This guy just seems normal, which is actually kind of nice. All right. There it is. Good job, guys. Athletic knits, cotton knit, interlock jersey. Yep. That's it. Okay. Cute idea. Cute concept. What are the girls wearing to pickleball? Do the girls get one? Oh, they do. They do right here. We'll get there in a second. I love it. Okay. Um, men's shirt and shorts. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh God. The, the, the casting person, like, I don't know, got sick and missed a few days of work and was back to work and knew this photo shoot was happening today. She just found a guy on the subway. Please come with me. Please help me. Maybe it's her boyfriend. Maybe it's her brother. You know, he's just, he's just such a normal Joe Schmo kind of guy. Okay. So men's shirt and shorts, matching shirt and short sets for men, button front shirts have collar, some, and come in short or long sleeves. VBS front pockets with flaps, pull on shorts with a last size waist, have drawstring and pockets. View C has slide slits. Hey, oh, okay. So it's, the same shorts as the pickleball shorts, it seems, just in a woven, and then a pretty traditional button-up shirt. Fit looks good on him. Yeah, not really seeing any issues there. Um. Yeah, okay, it's resort wear for guys. Yeah, looks looks great. The length on the short is definitely a choice. I think that's a little bit more palatable for most men. I, I, and I think a lot of women prefer a little bit shorter of an inseam. If your guy's comfortable with that, you know, definitely shorten the shorts. But if not, that's fine too. Just not board shorts, like not down to the knees. Like we're not doing that, please. Um, active wear wovens, they're calling it, which would be like that wicking type of woven you know what I'm talking about you know it um cotton blends lightweight nylon and swimwear wovens um I have a swimwear woven I don't know what it's actually called but I think they called it board short board fabric surf fab something like that something along those lines I think it might even be liberty it's very bougie I don't know why I got it it's been in my stash for a decade easily um 
anyways, so buttons, buttons, elastic, all the normal stuff for this type of design. So, okay. Cute. All right, so while your guy is looking fly on the, t on the pickleball court, this is what you wear. How stinking cute. I might pick up pickleball just to wear this. Um, three button placket collar, optional contrast and purchased stretch piping or trim. Skorts with elastic waistband have purchased stretch piping or contrast at the bands. I just absolutely adore skort in any fashion. And this one is like high fashion. Like I think you could wear that with a black rib knit bodysuit or something and it would look amazing. It's a little low slung. I would rather, not necessarily at the waist, I get that, but maybe one inch below the waist, not three inches. I mean, her hip bone's like around here somewhere. So not my personal favorite place for a waistband, but same little design details with the fabrics. I love the slit that you can see the little short in there. So cute. Yes. Also, yes. Now, stretch piping, is that a common thing to find? That feels like a specialty item. You can also make your own. You can also make flat piping, which has no cording in it. But yeah, the proportions here feel a little bit off, like really long torso and then little itty bitty skirt. So I just want it to be a little bit longer, just a little bit. Okay, fabrics are going to be the same as the guys. Um, we should have no finished garment measurements. Okay, all right. There's just too many options. They had to put in all the fabric requirements. Yeah, cute though. Cute and fun. Cute idea. Okay, so now we're getting into, now this is the kind of vintage that is my jam. So this is 1970s quick and easy tops, skirt and pants. Why do I feel like I had this at one time? Knit top, skirt, pants, and shorts. This is a whole outfit, a whole capsule wardrobe. Tops have extended shoulder line. A has sleeve bands and drawstring and waist casing. Views B, C, D, and E have turned up sleeves. B, C, and E have drawstring and lower casing. B, R, E with cowl have collar, cowl collar have pockets and side seam openings. Skirt has elastic and waistline casing. Pants are short. Well, I can't keep reading this. Oh my gosh, it's the same thing over and over. Okay, let's just look at it. <laughs> I feel like I had this, but maybe not. So we've got, let's start with A. A is this little, remember it's a knit top, okay? We've got dolman-ish. What's happening with this? Oh, it's a grown-on sleeve or a, sorry, drop shoulder with a sleeve band, that's what's happening. And then an elastic or drawstring casing here. Then this is our little skirt, right? Don't we get a skirt? B is this top, same top, just a longer sleeve and instead, uh, and no elastic, no drawstring. C is a like a short sleeve version of that. D is, D is a scoop neck. E is the cowl, funnel cowl neck. And that's also D. But you do get some pants and skirts and stuff, which I don't feel like they're calling out. Maybe they added those? So a little knit skirt, a little knit pant, a little shorty short. There's the pants again. She's just naked. Is she naked? She's naked. She has no pants on. <laughs> she has no pants on. <laughs> okay. A is the pant. C is the shorty short. And E is, I'm sorry, A is the skirt. And E is the pant. What a great little pattern unbonded stretchable knits. I don't even know what that means. Such as cotton knits, knitted terry, terry, come on, 
knitted velour sweater knits, wool, or synthetic jersey. Yeah, I have a lot of those. I don't really know what to do with. Perfect. I love this little pattern. Um, elastic, elastic, and optional stretch lace. Alphanumeric sizing up to only the equivalent of a 4 to an 18. So, yikes. Not very size inclusive. Um, I'm like a mid size girly and I would barely fit into this. Um, bust has five inches of ease and the hip. Oh, well, the hip does have somewhere between 12 and 13 inches of ease. So, yeah, you could, if you were like a 2022, 20, you could size down and still fit into this and have just a little bit less ease. But it wouldn't be like skin tight. I like it. Okay, now. Look how cute this little number is. Mrs. Dress or Top, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Vintage McCall's 1970 Dress or Top sewing pattern. Pullover dress or top front is gathered into front bands, which fold back to form collar. Okay. Short sleeves with gathered cap turn up to form cuffs. View, dress B has purchase belt. Okay. I mean, Obsessed with the top with flare jeans. This is like so my style. The maxi dress is incredible. The little mini with no belt. I don't know. This one's really cute too. Oh, that's it? We don't even get the back of the envelope. That's it. This is literally the two pictures that we get. Wow. Okay. Well, it's cute. And I'm assuming you're going to be making this out of cotton blends, you know, linen, those mid-weight, lightly stable type of fabrics, gauze, the normal stuff we've been seeing this whole collection. Yeah, two pictures, that's it. Okay, so we skipped the kiddos, and now we'll go to this one here. Okay, asymmetric wrap front skirts with pocket variations have fly front zipper with button closure and adjustable strap. Views B and C have front pleats. Sizes 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Oh, the way I really want to like this, but something is not right. I think it's too low waisted again. The proportions on her are off. They're just not doing this girl very much justice at all. Um, the design is cute. I love this little patch pocket version with the little buckle. This one is also very cute. It's giving, um, oh shoot, what was that movie with the Girl Scouts where the Troop Beverly Hills? It's giving Troop Beverly Hills, like, like, like cargo skirt meets schoolgirl skirt. You know, it's like wilderness and luxury <laughs> all in one. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I wish it were higher up on her. Right? That looks frumpy. And I don't think it's supposed to be that. I think it's supposed to be cuter. And it's just not that cute. Right? Don't we want it to be up here? I think so. It also could be, see how the back is higher than the front? So maybe it's falling down in the front on her? I don't know. There just seems to be some issues here. Let's see what this. Yeah, I think it would take a little bit of finessing. It is a skirt, though, so you could just pull it up higher. Why didn't they? Do, I guess it was too big for her. That's what it was. It's just too big on her. That's that's my final answer. Okay, cotton blends, denim, poplin, and twill. A zipper, a button, D-rings, buckle slider, and heavy-duty snaps are your notions, depending on which version you're making. 
size wise finished hip is all they're giving us okay well i would like to see the waist more than the hip the hip has seven inches of ease the waist should have two somewhere around two um at the area no and that would be like a one inch if you wanted to sit at your natural waist two inches if you wanted to sit an inch below your natural waist Yeah, I feel like people are going to start making that one, and then others are going to see how cute it can be. So here's a Mrs. Skirt in three lengths. Fly front skirts have seaming details, back yoke, pockets, and length variations. View C has high-low hem. 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the size range. The styling is not it, especially for this fabric choice, like the big chunky belt. Uh, no, no, this, that, that, and then look at this little weird shoe. No, styling's not it, but let's try and look beyond that. We have seaming here, and then what you can't see is this seam, this curve that goes all the way around the front to back, so it adds all of this volume to the side of your body, which I know sounds like, why would I want to add saddlebags, but it's actually camouflaging it's going to do the opposite than you think it will do it's if you use the right fabric and it drapes the way that it's supposed to this can be a really cute detail that just adds a lot of volume to the sides and not so much front to back which again i know i'm saying that and you're all going no no <laughs> that's not going to be cute on me but you have to take my word for it see how it's falling on her it's just i don't know it it just is magic okay <laughs> this one this this picture this illustration doesn't help but I promise you it's cute I had a skirt like this that was kind of like businessy so it was made out of some kind of like maybe like a stretch twill and it was really cute and that wasn't even all that drapey um if you get something drapey like um like the washer linens or the linen rayon blends or some kind of cotton blend. Um, it could be really cute. See, it just adds this. This drape is all it adds, but it doesn't add volume to your butt. They took the belt off, thank God. But it has the yoke. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love the high-low version, but I think that the the long one could be really fabulous, and this one could be really kind of just cute. Cutesy chambray chino denim and twill yeah i think you can go a little bit lighter than this not to like chalet and stuff but somewhere in between those two more like the the cotton blends the linen blends things like that okay all you need is a zipper and a button and uh these wise we're looking at in the waist what five inches in the waist no no that's so off Oh, wait, it's neck. No, that's minus. That's smaller than your body measurement. So this is not right. Maybe it's supposed to say 36. This is an error. There's no way the skirt's smaller than your body by six inches. Well, that's, that's a problem. Um, so we don't really know what we're working with there. And it also makes me not trust the hip measurement either even though the hip measurement is larger and it doesn't make sense for this pattern if this were 36 and a quarter then it would be still five inches of ease was way too much again two inches of ease is the most you want in a waist especially one that's sitting up this high so i don't know what's going on there i hope it's not printed like that on the pattern itself or on the tissue paper Okay. Oh, look, a Barbie doll. They're leaning into that now. Okay. We've got some pajamas. Uh, extra small to 2X, all in one. Oversized tops with collar and front button closure have short or long sleeve option. Pants and shorts have ribbon trim, purchased piping, trim, and elastic waistband. Um... 
the illustrations are way cuter than it actually turned out. I don't want to wear like a fitted pant to my ankle in a woven, that's for sure. But it's not that bad. It's giving, it's giving Upper East Side. It's giving like, I'm fabulous even in my pajamas, which, you know, is nice. But these look more like dresses. These look like they flare out more. They look like they're a little bit longer. And that is appealing to me, which you can do, right? You can make that happen. Lengthen this, widen it a little bit. Pair it with a little short and you have a cute little like short all set. Right? I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm, that looks like stilts. There's the back. Yeah, I guess it is a little wide. It's just all being pushed to the back. The width is not being evenly distributed. That's cuter. I still don't like this at the bottom, and I don't like how tight it is. Okay, Shally, Charmeuse, Crepes, and Lawn. Yeah, Voile would probably fall into that. Um, any of your, like, lightweight wovens, even a little bit drapey is fine. A ton of notions, mostly buttons and piping and elastic. Um, even Honey doesn't like this one. That's her growling in the back. Um, there's our sizing and finished garment measurements are not provided. We have definitely seen cuter pajamas in the past, but... Okay, so we've got some aprons and kitchen accessories, infant clothes. We've got this, Miss, is this, yeah, this was the last, this was the last release, which I remember liking so much. This one is not my favorite. It, it feels like we have gone back in time to when things were a little questionable, um, over at the big, it was only the big four back then, um, yeah, I didn't have a lot of nice things to say about this whole collection. Did you guys agree with me or am I just being like extra harsh today or what, what is going on? What did you guys think of this collection? Let me know in the comments section below, but that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.